All right, guys, here's that special surprise I was talking about. It is day 30 on this map. This is my the, the map that I'm uh, sort of playing on in my spare time. Um, so uh, turn that light off here real quickly for a second. So this was a water tower. Uh, as you can see, the fence around the bottom here. This is a water tower with a fence around it. Um, and I've kind of renovated it a little bit, as you can tell. That's all solid concrete pretty much down below there. Um, and I built on top now. It's it's pretty sturdy. These are reinforced concrete poles here, here, here. Those have all been upgraded to reinforced concrete up along there and along there. Um, and so what I've got here, I've got to show you real quick because we're running out of time here before the horde. I still got to do a few improvements. Um, so this is just generally concrete up here. It's just to keep them from getting up on the roof, which I'm hoping it will. I don't think they will though. We got regular reinforced concrete out here. That's all solid in there. We got some concrete plates where I could put them on the outside, double wa walls of uh, reinforced steel. These are actually steel blocks here. Uh, so if we go back inside, reinforced steel door, uh, steel blocks here. These are just regular concrete. I'm just waiting for these last few here to dry. I added a couple of extra pieces here um, just in case they do break through here. Uh, I'm just worried if they break this block, they're going to be able to get in here through the door, the little door part here. Not 100% sure on that, but if they do, I've got some reinforced steel on me here, or forged steel, and uh, some forged iron so I can repair the bars, concrete and stuff. My junk turret is just back here. It's only level one, but the thing is, it's just back here to cover my retreat across the bridge if, I, if they break through here for whatever reason. We got our standard dart traps with a thousand rounds of ammo in these two, which are the ones that are covering the main door. And then we got about 800 rounds in these guys here, which are covering just behind them. So once they stack up in here, um, these dart traps will just be hitting them on both both blocks outside the door here. Now this is made for being able to melee through, right? So I can hit guys through this. I can step into here and melee if I want to. Um, we've got our bow here with uh, iron arrows. Plenty of SMG ammo, as you can tell. Uh, we'll probably burn through all of this tonight. And then I got a double barrel shotgun here for nice point blank shooting. Uh, my hammer, of course, in the bar and some um, coffee here uh, to drink while we're in the middle of the horde. Uh, if we're doing melee a lot, um, I think I got a feeling the dart traps are going to do really well. Six repair kits uh, on me. I got lots of healing bandages. I don't think we're going to need it. But my second, uh, my second fallback is so if they break through here, I'm just going to run back across here, close this up, okay? And now they can't get in here. Now they got to break through all these spikes and get onto these walls here, right? So and I've got a perfect position from either here or above to shoot them. These are just wooden uh, bars up here right now, but they're just the cover for vultures. Now vultures can still get me from in here, but uh, that won't be so bad. At least they won't be able to descend on me right from above. I mean, I guess I could have extended them out a little bit more, but I didn't do that. Uh, but this is all solid concrete all the way along here. So, like, all the way down to the ground. So if they decide to try and smash through here, it's all solid concrete. These are double layers of iron bars right here along here. This is a, this is just a uh, con reinforced concrete plate to hold the second level bars in case they break the first one all the way along. These don't fall. Um, and then if they get up for whatever reason on that platform, we can kind of go up all the way up to the top here if we want. We can fight from the second platform up here as well, uh, firing down. It's a little easier to see them when they're on the, uh, the spikes out there. And we're spot, we're, whoop, gotta watch out for these holes. Did I not fill that? I didn't fill that hole in. Let's do that real quick here. Uh, I thought I filled those in. Let's just make six just in case we need more. I don't know, I, th I thought I filled them all in, but I guess I didn't. Let's just fix that real quick. Uh, copy rotation. We're not going to be able to paint it. Oh, I can't, right? Because there's a post there. Ah, uh, right. That's why I did that. Okay. No big deal. But anyway, that's that second platform. Let's hope we don't fall down. I'll have to remember these holes are here. Now that I remember they're here, I should be okay. Uh, but they're by every pole here. Uh, but we can fight from the second platform. Uh, this is all reinforced steel up the center here. Or it's all steel anyway. Um, the original uh, uh, water tower was steel. And then if we go up to the top here, if for whatever reason they manage to climb all the way up, we can fight from up here if we want, or we can just close this, right? And we can fight from up here, which is fine. And then a last resort is to disappear inside of here <laughs> into the water tower. That's getting my light, my light back on. So that's the other thing we can do. Um, just finishing up our, uh, our um, 
Last little bit of resources here. Got some more steel cooking in here. Five more pieces, so not much. We can throw our sand back in here. Uh, but this is my upstairs. Um, I kind of decked it out a little bit. My workbench. I just got 7.62 ammo uh, cooking right now. I don't think we're going to get into needing the 7.62, but if we do, I've got a, I've got a uh, crappy AK up here I can use. I got a couple grenades that I found as well, and I know for for day 30, you think I'd have a lot more than this. Let's keep some cocktails on us just in case. Um, you think I'd have a lot more for day 30, but like you know, it's like the way I like to play. Like I like I said many, many times before, is I'm much more of an exploring guy and building, which is what I really did here. Is just explored and build. Uh, that's my mind down there. I covered it over uh, because if the zombies fell in there, they could dig under the base, and I don't want them to do that. So just covered that over for the horde. Um, the roof right now has. Um, I haven't really done much work on it, but it's just from my crops. As you can see, I harvested them already. I don't have much growing up here, but uh, we've, I've been doing okay for food. I haven't really needed anything, so uh, let's make sure, now that I said that, let's make sure we're fed here. Let's use that. Oh yeah, we're well fed. And let's grab a red tea. And we're well watered. Cool. Um, yeah, so I still got a bit more farm blocks to to, uh, to use here. We got tons of medical supplies. Um, my skills, I'm mostly gone. Uh, if we go through the, the perks real quick here, I haven't really done anything with perception at all. Um, strength, I brought up a bit just so I can get my mining going, pummel peed going. So I've been using this baseball bat that I found or that I bought off the trader quite a bit. Master Chef's been brought up to level two. Uh, fortitude still at, at one. Agility is up a lot higher because I use a, 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 a lot of archery and when I'm stealthing around I'm using a pistol with a, with a um, silencer on it plus my uh, uh, compound bow which is why I have Hidden Strike ranked up as well for raiding POIs. Uh, my intellect is up at 6 only because I have my lucky my uh, goggles on but I've been kind of mostly going towards intellect build and then I haven't really found that many books but you know like I said I've been mostly building in this with this guy. So let's get down below. I don't know what to I don't know what to expect with this. I'm going to leave this open. Just makes it quicker to get up. Now, like I said, I've painted all this. I think it looks pretty cool. This is the original catwalk that was already here. Uh, I just left it in because it looks all right. But originally, when I was building this, this is just uh, um, bricks up here, right? So when I was building this. Um, before I had these four support columns in on the side, I was digging down at the bottom because I wanted to make sure that the uh, reinforced concrete blocks went all the way down uh, to the bottom. So I had to dig out the dirt around it. And as I started to dig out a little bit underneath here, the platform, um, some of my blocks started to fall from above. So it wasn't very sturdy. So once again, this whole bottom is reinforced concrete. These are reinforced concrete pillars. There's four of them that go up on each side. Uh, these are reinforced concretes. I added this reinforced concrete pillar here. So we've got plenty of support. This is all reinforced concrete now, which was added over top of the uh, steel that's behind here. Um, it's like a 7,000 hit point steel block behind there. So that's all set up and ready to go. All right, we've got 20 minutes before the horde starts. Let's get over here. Got my fingers crossed with this one. These aren't quite dry yet, but I think before they have a chance to break in, uh, you know, these will be dry. And like I, I don't really have a switch. I didn't have a switch to be able to turn these on, but my engine is up here. Once they, once we get full force of these guys uh, coming up in here, then we'll just turn this on and it'll just continuously fire. I don't have a switch to turn them off, unfortunately, so all four will be going at once. My fear is that they, tr they try and break through here because really that's the weakest spot. spot. Is that spot right there I'm hoping they don't and I'm hoping they don't go beat on the walls over there because I can't really shoot them from here right you know if I clear the guys out in front I might be able to open the door and shoot but I don't want to do that so uh, if that actually happens we may have to kind of get out here and climb up uh, let's scrap these don't need them in our toolbar right now let's put the Molotovs in there just in case and here we go Enjoy those spikes, boys. Thin them out a little bit before they get to us. What's up, guys? Now, I'm not sure. They're not coming here. Whatever, you guys. You do you.
Oh, that junk turret's firing. I don't have much junk turret ammo. Oh, here they are. What's up, buddy? Oh, I can't even see you. Apparently I can. All right, let's get this on. Shredding time. Oh, we got... There's a bag dropping already. Let's just deal this guy. Oh, there's a white. A couple whites. So my, my submachine gun here has got a... Uh, Oh, say goodbye to your head. My submachine gun's got, it's got the uh, extended clip mod on it. But I don't have, and I wish I had, the um, burst fire. How's the door doing? Ah, oh, it's going down. I guess it's really the best way for these guys to kind of get through here. We're going to run out of forged steel real quick. And they are going to break through. The uh, dart traps are doing a really good job here. Oh, better leave it on. Stop banging my door! Die. I know, I know I said I was gonna melee, but with this many zombies, there's no way. Hello, look at them coming. Wow. it? Nope, they're still coming. We should have had an M60. Oh, there's a cop. Hope I got enough ammo. Not worried about those guys that are climbing up right now, because as long as you're not beating on the main door. No, don't blow up! How's the door doing? They're pretty damn good. We're gonna run out of re <laughs> some steel here really quick. I wish I had realized how quickly that was gonna go down. Come on, reload. The cop. Okay, he's going down. This is a freaking shredder out here. Now, if I can get another... Well, oh, they've broken through one level of door. Get some fire in there. Oh. How did you get through? How are we doing here? Yeah, we're out of steel. Okay, let's repair this. Bad time to need repairs. Bad time to be out of ammo. See, this is how you want to deal with the horde. Oh! Oh, 
Okay, where are you guys coming from? Oh, they got up on the roof. They got up on the roof. Ah, shoot. Die. Yep, they got up on the roof. So they probably broke through the... Uh, yeah, this guy's in. Almost time to retreat here. They got through the door. Hey, thanks for the bag. Yeah, they're still coming. Get a couple of these going. And let's get some fire down there. Screw you. All right, what else we got over here? Ooh. Well, those dart traps are still going. This could be very bad. Enjoy, people. Enjoy. Yeah, reloading. They're white. Look at this. All right. Good thing I brought the Molotovs down here. Oh, thank you for getting in the way of that. Okay, we gotta shred these guys. <laughs> I thought that guy was armless for a second there, but he lost both of his legs. Okay, this is crazy. Enjoy that. Okay, this is probably the best Horde Knight I've ever had. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Oop. Whoa! Oh, well, they're World War Z now. Oh, come on. Look at this. Oh, you bastard. Look at him come. Oh shit!
Oh, it's still not loaded? Oh, crap. No! I should have went up the ladder when I had the chance. No! Well, let's go upstairs. Oh. Oh. And I'm cold. Oh. Let's wear this. Let's wear this. Okay, they despawned. Is that the end of the Horde Knight? I guess if I die like that, that is the end. <sighs> well, that was legitimately a good Horde Knight. I cannot complain about that. Uh, how much ammo was I down to? I needed more weapons on my belt. I had 35 rounds left. I burnt through over a thousand rounds of ammunition. Wow. My darts are gone. So all those darts are gone. Look at all the bags out here though. I mean, at least we get a little bit of ammo back. Wow. That was an insanely great Horde Knight. Ah, some casings. The base held up actually way better than I thought it would. I think the trick now, though, it's going to be to double door that front. The door was the weak part, which is why they all went for it, I think. Yeah, nothing came from this side. And if they did, they just went around. Yeah, they just shredded this side of spikes. I think maybe, I don't know, if I had put barbed wire in, maybe it would have been a bit better. And if I think if I had a, well, I don't know about having a better gun. If I had the M60, it would have been a different story. Like, they didn't do any damage to these blocks. Like, almost nothing. Right? A little bit to that. They didn't even break through that second. Yeah, they didn't even get through the second line. They took the blocks out up here, though. That was what it was. I should have made this all reinforced concrete. This should be up one higher. That's what it should be. This should be reinforced and should go up one more. And that should all be reinforced concrete up double level so they can't get on the roof. Maybe that's what defeated me. Well, not having an, enough uh, reinforced iron to keep the door uh, repaired was a big problem um, but I think like overall I thought it w did pretty well for most of the night pretty well for most of the night and I think it was an oversight uh, on the roof there and that's probably for me shooting or from cot vomit or whatever or junk turret shots whatever it is so it's only minor damage here or the zombies trying to beat down to get inside. That could be it too. But it looks like there was an explosion in here or something. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it did pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to refine the, uh, obviously refine the, uh, the thought behind this one. But I think, overall, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I think I relied too much on the thought that they wouldn't get in. And that was what killed me. I should have just assumed that that was what was going to happen. They didn't, they didn't even come over here at all. Which is good. They just tried to come exactly where I was, which is exactly what I wanted. I mean, I guess if I had more turrets, I could have just let, do, let, let the uh, turrets do all the work. So that took a lot of damage too. So they were, it was really because they were stacked on top of each other. Right? They did a bit of damage to the inside, but that was that guy that got in, which is banging on shit in here. So I'm gonna have to make some more steel. If I upgrade all this to steel, 
It'll be good. The door didn't take... Oh, it's or, the door took a lot of damage. I think it's because they're banging on it from down below here. Like, the bars are still fine. They didn't break the bars. They did break this. Or we're breaking on this. Hmm. I wonder if I put... Um, I don't know how much it would help. Do I still have steel on me? Oh, I do still have steel on me. Guess I could have reinforced that. Oh, well. Let's fix this up. So, yeah, I think overall, not bad. I mean, I made it partway through the Horde Knight, not anywhere close to the middle. If I was paying more attention to my health and what I was doing, it probably wouldn't have been so bad. But, um, yeah, I think it did fairly well. I think it needs to be one block higher, though, really, which means I'd have to dig down. I don't know if I want to do that. It's going to cause instability. But I think it maybe has to be done. Yeah, see, they didn't really do any damage over there. Yeah. A little bit to this. There's the morning. Yeah, this is caught vomit, probably. And me trying to shoot the birds. So, I mean, overall... I think pretty much we did a pretty good job on this. If I made this a little bit more bird protected, it wouldn't have been staring, trying to find the birds rather than shooting the zombies, which is, I think, a big problem too. Either that or have some backup junk turrets back here. Like spec more into junk turrets so I have a couple of turrets going at once. And then if I can get them set up to take care of the birds, like maybe one level up, just to take care of incoming birds. Yeah, see, like, all along here, too, right? I guess they must have been pounding on the top, trying to get down. And I should make it so that... Hmm. I was thinking that have this extend out so they can't drop down. I'd have to l make sure this door was, like, closed for the start of the battle. And when I knew I was going to get in trouble, then drop it down. So if they, get, if they do get up on the roof and they fell down, they wouldn't be able to land on this and go inside. How'd they do over there? Yeah, they didn't break much on that side. Like, that that whole thing is still standing. I thought they would try and... Um, yeah, I thought they would try and break their way. Like, break this out from underneath me? But maybe because it's so thick, and the door was easier to break through, they just didn't even bother. Like, they left all this alone. This is the original door that was there from the main uh, main building. But yeah, overall, you know what? Damage-wise, not so bad at all. Like, they broke through the first level here, but that's it, really. And I think if I could have kept the firepower going on them down here and had better positioning from which to throw Molotovs. So I think I have to go down one level. If I'm gonna If I'm going to survive level like a day 60 horde here, it definitely has to go down one level. Like, there's no way this could survive uh, uh, the next level horde. I mean, maybe. If I made the right adjustments, it could probably do it, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys, while I repair this. Like I said, this is just the one I play in my spare time. I'm hoping that um, Prowl and Pete's holds up this well. I got a feeling it's not. I have to reassess how Prowl and Pete's is going to do. Like, I mean, that was a pretty vicious horde. And I think, though, the key is to funnel them into one location. Yeah, they got a lot of block damage at that point, but if you've got enough of a, a um, staggered defense that you can, you know, absorb the damage they're doing and just be okay and back up and just stay away from them, I think you'll be okay. Well, we'll be okay. I'll just have to see how it goes. But I'm going to repair these. I mean, I could have upgraded these to iron too, but because they're so far out... I mean, I guess the other way to do it too is to put them in here and have them all iron. But I don't know. Now I, now I have an excuse to take the fence out. I had the fence in for the longest time just because if I had a wandering horde come by, um, it was easier to hear them banging on the fence than it was to uh, hear them hitting these spikes. It looks like they did come along behind here. Because these spikes were all the way around. 
Maybe I should have gone with some of the Molotovs earlier on too. But I don't think it was really the early game um, guys I had to worry about. It was really the late game guys. Um, I think the rocket launcher is going to become a lot more important too. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this pit was one of the uh, buried treasure pits as you can see the thing over there. Yeah, this was all like two layers of spikes. They're all gone. A little bit of damage on here. I know I said I was going to end it. I'm still talking. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to end this uh, this uh, video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Next episode will be um, Surviving Alpha 18 again. Um, we'll have to work on um, Prowl and Pete's just to make sure it doesn't collapse. Um, I mean, this place didn't collapse, but we'll have to figure out. Like, it's a big it's a big building, and it's, it's surrounded by... Uh, uh, ways that the zombies can get in. So I'm really going to have to find a way to funnel them like I did here. Um, you know, I think maybe two. We didn't get any demolishers that I saw, which is probably good. But, you know, the other thing, I think this is from the cop blowing up out here. Um, well, the other thing we can probably do is on this side have dart traps firing back this way. And not only two levels high, but three levels high, shooting them up here. I think that's going to help out a, a tremendous amount. Um, yeah, I gotta reconsider this, but overall I'm quite happy with it. Alright, see you in the next video.